welcome back to my channel. So today, it, we, are who, what, where. We are creating this look right here, this beautiful yellow eyeshadow look. I posted a picture of this look in a makeup group that I'm in on Facebook, and so many people were like, you need to do a tutorial on this. So here I am creating a tutorial for you guys. So this was a requested look that I am more than happy to recreate for you guys. It's literally, like you're gonna see, this is literally the easiest thing to do. So, so easy. Oh, and before we get into it, I would just like to say, guess what foundation I'm wearing? Wanna guess? Wanna guess? It is all of my foundations mixed together in one. So this video should be up already with kind of how I mixed all my foundations in one and how it worked out. So it is up already, so I will link it right here so that you can click on over there. And I will also link it down in the description box if you wanna wait till the end of the video to click on over there. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get right into it. All right, first things first, we're going to prime using the Makeup Forever Step 1 Eye and Lip Primer, and I actually am going to put that on my eyes and my lips. All right, and I'm just gonna take my Sephora. Guys, this is literally, literally gonna be the easiest thing ever. So I'm just gonna dip into my Sephora Pro Warm Tone Palette. Let me take this shade right here just to give us a little bit of a transition. Transition. And I'm just gonna use my Sephora Pro Tapered Crease Brush and buff that all into the crease here. The natural hollow of my eye following the natural eye shape here. Just using a very, very light amount. And then I'm just gonna wipe that brush off and we're gonna stay in this palette the whole time, but don't feel like you have to use this palette. Use what you have in your collection or use anything that's similar to this, whether it's single shadows or it's from a different palette or palettes or whatever. Just follow the same idea. However, I do highly recommend this palette if you are interested in it. It's a really great palette. So anyways, I'm just gonna take this yellow shade right here on that same brush, and I'm just going to buff that all into the crease using a very generous amount. Bringing it down onto the outer corner of the eye. If you are concerned about these eyeshadows showing up on you, then I just recommend using a concealer that is like two shades maybe lighter than your skin tone and applying that all over the eyelid because that'll help to really kind of brighten up the eyelid area so that any lighter shades will really pop on top of it. Or you can just like mix a little bit of a white base into a concealer that you already own. Like NYX has a white eyeshadow base. You could use the white eyeshadow base by itself. However, if you are very deep skin toned, I don't recommend using a white eyeshadow base because then it can just look a little bit, like it can be too much of a contrast. You can definitely still make it work, but I find that it's easier just to use like a concealer that's a couple of shades lighter. And then taking a Sephora Pro Cream Shadow Brush, this is the number 28. I'm just going to buff that shadow all along the lower lash line. And I find that with light shades, like yellow shades, or any like pastel shades or anything like that, I really like to be generous with that color and just really like blow it out away from the eyes. I feel like you see the color more, but it still looks soft since it's such a light color. You can be like really heavy handed with it and it'll still look soft, you know what I'm saying? So I'm deciding what shades I want to use and I'm just gonna kind of talk you through how I'm deciding what shade I wanna use. So I swatched the three gold shimmers that we have in this palette and I'm looking at which one has the most yellow base to it. Like this one pulls a little bit more bronzy. This one is pretty yellow, but it's not like super yellow and then this one I can see has the most like golden yellow undertone to it so I really like this one you totally could go in with this one but I like how this one has a little bit more depth as well so I'm gonna use that one use whatever you like but I just wanted to kind of explain my thought process in which yellow to use and why I'm using it. Of course, in that same palette, I'm gonna take the shade that is just right under that yellow shade right here, and I like to apply these shades with my finger, and just pack that all over the lid. It creates dimension while still keeping it very monochromatic. 
because you're getting that shimmer all over the lid, but it's not a hard contrast with the rest of the eye. Don't be afraid to kind of tap that color a little bit going into the crease, like just kind of tapping it barely onto that crease there so that we start to get that transition. And then I'm just gonna take that crease brush that I was using before and just buff out any edges with that. And then taking just a small amount of that same gold shade, I'm going to use my cream shadow brush again, the number 28, and I'm just gonna take it on the very edge of that 28 brush, and I'm using that same shade, and I'm just gonna buff that right onto the inner corner, just lightly. And then normally I would pop like this shade right here into the inner corners, but I already put my highlighter on the inner corners before I even started applying any eyeshadow, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip that step, but you are more than welcome to. And that is literally it for the eyeshadow. Whenever I create a yellow eyeshadow look that I just like to throw on, and because for a while I was wearing this for like a whole week, I was like, all I wanna wear is freaking yellow eyeshadow. <laughs> and this is all I would do. I would just throw that lighter color in the crease, throw the shimmer on the lid, blend it together, and throw on some lashes. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of mascara, and recently I have been loving the Smashbox Super Fan Mascara. If you have been following me, you know that every mascara in the world smudges on me, and I have had so much success with this one, not budging one bit. I am so, so excited to have this. All right, and I'm just gonna throw on my Huda Lana lashes because I love them so much, and I lost them, but now I found them, Aww. so I'm so excited. All right, it's gonna take a minute for my glue to set and get ready, so I'm just going to uh, go pop these lashes on, and I will be right back. I feel a hair on my face, but I cannot see it. Anyways, I'm gonna try to ignore it because I cannot get it. Oh, it's driving me crazy! But here is the finished look. By the way, guess what highlighter I'm wearing right now? I just love the texture of this. I just feel like it adds the most natural glow, not in the sense that it doesn't reflect the light the way that you want it to, but in the sense that like it doesn't enhance texture. Like I feel like I can just layer and layer and layer it up and it still looks so smooth. I really, really love this. Highly recommend it. This is the, it doesn't say, but it's an e.l.f. highlighter in Moonlight Pearls is the shade, so. On my lips, I am wearing the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick, and this is the shade Ipsy Unzipped, I think is what it is. So this was a collaboration that they did with Ipsy. So super beautiful, I love this shade a lot. I love the mauve undertones. Anyways, great liquid lipstick, do recommend. So yeah, here is our finished look, you guys. What do we think? Super, super easy. Like totally, if you are a colorful person, like you like to wear colors, like not just like neutrals and stuff like that, but colors, this is something that I feel is super, super easy just to throw on. Of course, if you are darker than me, then you'll have to do a little bit more prep work to kind of get the colors to pop a little bit. I still think it's something that's pretty fast if you want something like colorful and light for every day or just for the every once in a while. I love this look. I really feel like the lashes tied it together. I do think that with this eyeshadow look, lashes really bring it all together. Or at least if you are not comfortable wearing lashes, do like a little bit of liner or something because I think just the eyeshadow by itself doesn't look quite right unless it has the definition of like an eyeliner or lashes or something like that. So I definitely recommend doing either one of those, if not both, so that you have a little bit more definition around the lash area. But other than that, yeah, I think it's super simple, super easy. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that you learned something new. Before you leave, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because what's the point of subscribing if you don't know when I'm gonna upload, right? I hope that you learned something new in this tutorial. If you did, please tell us what you learned down below and then also leave a request for what you would like to see next. So I will see you all in Wednesday's wear test. Thanks for watching, bye. We